I told my random subscribers I'll be reacting to any Christmas design they make so they have to make the design and post it on Instagram with the hashtag Dennis React. So I'm going to react to the design that was sent to me on Instagram. The very first design that came in was from Willie KYM65. You can see the Instagram account just right here. As we are closing 2021, we wish to wish all of you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year of God's blessings. Fine. So this was the design and you can see it looks very cool. I appreciate the creativity put all together to achieve this design Willie KYM65 you did a great job and I like the colors everything about the design it looks very cool and very nice so I like the Christmas ball the way you place it just around here and the boxes the gift boxes it's actually very cool and I like the balance in the design very nice but then this Christmas font would have been a little bit interesting than this because we are talking about something that gives joy you know something that entertains okay it would have been better with a kind of cursive font just like the Mary but it's still very cool and nice and a happy new year 2022 that's cool and when you have your services i think the fonts are too big and it takes enough space there so what you would have done would have been kind of fonts with 10 points or something smaller than this would have been better and i see no reason for this line here this curve it's not needed there but the design is generally very cool and nice let's look at the next design so this one came in from sparkle graphics best caption got the best likes wow best caption got the best likes all right it's very nice i like the feel of the design the everything that has to do with christmas the merry xmas christmas hangout featuring and blah 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 it's very cool and then santa claus just by the side it looks cool and nice but i think my observations should be that everything is not well aligned you can see everything it's as if it's not balanced but it's a cool design but merry xmas would have been just right at the center here very aligned at the center and the christmas and god at the center featuring everything here should have been centralized maybe you would have break the text like this music dance and lots more of games under would have just arranged it on the center like that and then would have made this uh, location to be kind of straight and aligned to the left i think so and the icons are too big but the whole feel of the design is okay so try to align elements in your design so you won't have scattered elements it's as if merry christmas is coming to the left and christmas hang out to the right and everything you align to the left so try to align element if you are using center alignment you can align element at the center and it makes your design to be better than this okay so the designs are cool let me see other things you have here your mock-ups are premium perfect i love them so you have a very cool design here all right let me move to the next design i have on my list here this one came in from honcho media honcho media i don't know if i'm pronouncing it very well but it's from honcho media tv few days to christmas so i designed this poster wow and the hashtag dennis react is just right there i love the feel of this design it looks very cool in fact it's perfect because everything is balanced and well centralized and i love these horses how did you get them it's looking very sparkling and nice congrats to you you have a cool design here without much information and nothing too busy on the background but it looks very well so let's study the design very well i like the snow effects just around the design and the santa claus this Santa Claus is not just kind of realistic like the previous Santa Claus we saw here. There are all cartoons. I love the Christmas bell around here. It looks very nice. I love the view around it. It's very cool and very nice. I give it to you, Honcho Media TV. Nice design right here. So I decided not to make any Christmas design this year, but decided to react to other people's design and see what they have got. All right, you guys are doing very amazing if you are enjoying this video kindly leave a like and subscribe if you have not done that yet because we are getting close to 7,000 subscribers so the next design that came into my list came from judah designs what a wonderful 
design i have here so far this is the best i've ever seen let me give you one tip when you are designing keep it simple stupid all right just keep it very simple i love the simplicity in this design just merry christmas and happy new year in advance judah designs congrats to you because this is a very cool design and i like the feel and how simple it is simple background gift boxes and the simple text just right here it's very cool and i like the lens flare you placed around here everything is just well balanced compliment of the season wow nice design please patronize judah designs because he is a very good designer i love the design you have here congrats to you okay let's move to the next design this last one came from justice omelat and i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but this is the name just right here justice omelat on instagram all right so this guy is one of my top fan for the year i guess he is always the first to comment on my videos first to comment on any of my posts and he follows every little thing i do on this platform he has been my top fan even on facebook this guy is amazing so he sent in this design just right here compliment of the season merry christmas and a happy new year justice sumlat wow nice design but we have a few things to do on this design first the picture here is way too big and way too much why not reduce the picture a little and we have enough space so you can play with merry christmas and happy new year i suggest you would have used a kind of cursive font for merry christmas like a script font for merry christmas and a happy new year and make it kind of creative you know creativity is what we look up to okay so merry christmas and happy new year should be your center of focus where you want to draw the attention of your viewers so you make it more interesting and very cool let's go back to the previous designs we have seen now look at something like merry christmas like this is very creative so you would have created something that looks like this just for this one here and compliment of the season should have been kind of small because it's not really important here but what we are looking at is merry christmas and happy new year should be your center of focus and you know every design has one focal point in every professional design it should have one focal point and that's where you want to draw the attention of your viewer too so i think it should have been on merry christmas and happy new year and i see no reason for the white blurry lights behind this so you would have take that off because it's making the design to look kind of dirty around there i don't really like it you should have take it off and instead play with shadows around there and make it more interesting but in general i love the way you place this flower and this stuff here can you give me that stuff it looks cool and nice don't mind me i'm joking and that of the santa claus uh, hat i think it should have been just the way you would have played with it it's looking too much here you would have taken two of these off and bring in just one around that and play around it but it's still cool and very nice compliment of the season the color you use on this of the if you should have used the blue uh, background then you would have made your text to be white and it would have been better just than this all right but in general you have a cool design yeah i appreciate your effort to make this and send it for reaction so i have a very cool design i want to make for you guys so don't click off the video yet i want to make this cool design with photoshop and it's actually a christmas design to wish my fans my clients my friends and well wishers and even my mentors i want to wish them a merry christmas so this video is dedicated for that purpose all right let's go straight to photoshop so this is photoshop and i'm going to create a new document and once i click that it brings up this dialog box so i'm going to say the dimension i want to work with i'm going to change my unit to pixels i'm going to set it to 1000 by 1000 pixel 300 ppi resolution and my color mode rgb click on create and it opens up just like this and next thing you're going to do is to bring in some resources because i have some resources around here i'll be using for this design so i'm going to bring in some of the resources so i can start designing just like that it's going to be a very simple and 
straight design so you can replicate this design and send it to me on instagram with the hashtag dennis react all right dennis react let's start the design so i'm going to minimize my windows and here i'm going to hold on just like the way windows 11 works i'm going to bring in the very first resource into my photoshop and maximize photoshop once again and place this around here so when i was trying to inspire myself doing this design i tried to do something very different from what i've seen so far i've seen a lot of people use christmas tree i've seen a lot of people use christmas flower and so on but i needed to do something very different from what i've seen so far but still with the regular christmas design colors like white red and so on so the idea of working with this uh, silk material with a red color came into my mind and I got the idea of Santa Claus back as well. So I'm going to apply them to this design. I'm going to increase this and place it just around here. You can rotate this a little so I have it just straight like this and place it around here. It looks perfect. So you can see how it looks very cool and very nice then i'm going to bring in another stuff so minimize your photoshop so you can open up these resources and bring in this uh santa claus back into my photoshop and i'm going to place it just around here you can reduce the santa claus back bring it down and place it around here like this and i think this looks very cool and very nice you can place it just around here very perfect you can hide the bottom of the bag so it's just around there i like the way it looks the illusion here is very very perfect so let's move on and i'm going to minimize again and bring in my christmas uh, leaf just like that so this design is just a matter of bringing in this stuff and i'm going to leave the link to all this stuff these christmas resources in the description so you can download it and use it for your own design it's just a kind of merry christmas to you all so i'm going to place this around here reduce this and place it around here like that that looks perfect and very nice so i'm going to leave it there it's very cool and nice around there then i'm going to duplicate that and bring that close to the bag as well so you press ctrl j to duplicate the layer then bring it down and press ctrl t to transform then you can rotate this like that and place it around here i think that looks very cool and very nice but it seems it's kind of distracting let me see if i can place that perfect than that okay it looks very cool and nice at that point and i'm going to leave it just right there and next thing i'm going to do is to bring in some christmas balls so i'm going to minimize that and bring in my very first christmas ball and place that around there then i'm going to place this this way sorry i'm going to reduce this place it around here just like that it looks perfect i love that i'm going to place it just around here and then i'm going to type in merry christmas okay merry oh christmas did i get the spelling okay christmas so that looks cool select all and i'm going to use a another typeface kind of straight typeface because i need things to be different i'm going to use hida green okay hida green perfect so this is the typeface i'll be working with i think i should adjust that so you can see it very well all right i'm going to press ctrl t to transform then increase that you see how it looks very cool and very nice then i'm going to change the font for mary and only christmas will be hida green so you bring this down here perfect with your text tool you can paste you know i had to cut out mary and paste this mary around here so i have a separate mary and a separate christmas then i'm going to look for a script font for mary so i'm going to click on where i have my typeface i can choose a perfect typeface dark 20 let's see how it looks perfect so i'm going to use dark 20 for mary and hida green for christmas place this around here it looks cool and very nice just around there wow 
wonderful so i'm going to select both layers like this press ctrl t to transform and increase the font just like that and place it around here that looks perfect and nice then i'm going to make sure my christmas ball is aligned to the center of merry christmas just like that i love the way the christmas ball looks then on my background i'm going to hit on my background layer and unlock my background then i'm going to give it this few just like that hit on your add layer style and click on gradient overlay so you have this top that looks like this but this gold color looks very cool and nice but i'm not going to work with that i'm going to change that to uh white on this other slider hit on this other slider and change it to gray something that looks like this it looks very perfect and nice hit on ok once you are happy with that then i'm going to adjust my gradient stuff around here place it at the center just like that and with that i think it's very fine so you hit on ok so we have this look on the flyer just like that it looks very cool and very nice so i'm going to change the color for my christmas so highlight christmas and give it a red color just like what you can see here so it has this red look so i have merry christmas and merry i'm going to change merry to green something that looks like this i think this green looks perfect around there i'm going to leave it at that it looks very cool and very nice i'm actually doing a very simple design on plant so it looks cool and very nice around here i'm going to make this christmas ball a kind of blurry if i'm going to increase this again little place it around here and let's see other stuff we can do minimize these windows and bring in this star into photoshop and then i'm going to place it around here reduce that and bring it just right under this stuff like this okay you can send it to the back so it goes press ctrl left square bracket and send it under that it looks very cool around there i love that very nice fine then i'm going to add some blur effect a kind of motion blur to the uh christmas ball not too much but just something like that it looks perfect so i'm going to leave it like that very cool and very nice so it looks as if the ball is in motion actually falling down around. so i like it just the way it is and i'm going to bring in other resources down to photoshop minimize this and bring in this stuff into photoshop just like that i'm going to place it around here so you have something that looks like this can reduce this again and place it around here very cool and very nice i told you i'll be playing with a lot of resources i brought into uh photoshop I'll just be playing around with it and i guess it looks perfect this way but uh, it's not really nice around there so i'm going to bring it down a little just around here i guess this looks perfect so i'm going to hit on ctrl t to transform this stuff like that rotate this way and place it around here i guess this looks better on this angle just like that so it's a matter of playing with some stuff you have around here and making it look very simple in general just keep your design simple stupid okay just make it simple stupid and if you have problems following this stuff it's no problem i'm making the tutorials as slow as possible so you can understand me and what i'm doing around here so minimize photoshop again and bring in other christmas balls which i have here i'm just bringing in a lot of stuff and placing them where necessary okay so i'm going to reduce this and rotate it this way rotate just like that and place it around here okay so on this christmas balls i'm going to add some shadows to make it realistified so you can bring this to the top and place it around here that looks very cool and nice just under the christmas ball you can click on mary and create a new layer so i can add kind of shadows to it click on your brush and reduce your brush size with the help of your 
uh, left square bracket you can reduce your brush size and set this to black so you can just paint around here and you have something that looks like that shadow around there and on this other christmas ball you're going to create a layer under it so this is the layer under this red christmas ball just like that create a new layer and add this shadow just like that as well so you can see it's looking realistified it looks real to the eye okay so it looks a kind of real to the eye i'm going to uh bring in other resources as well so minimize photoshop and bring in these stars stuff like this <laughs> they are all christmas clip ads i got them online and i'm just bringing them to my design so you can place it just around here just like that and going to duplicate it press ctrl j to duplicate the layer just like that and bring it and bring it just around here and place it there so i have two of those and i'm just playing around those stuff minimize again and let's see what we can bring into photoshop again so i have this light i got as well i'm going to place it just in photoshop too so you can see i'm playing around all this stuff to get a very cool and perfect design i'm going to place it here so if you are wondering where i got all these resources so i search for a lot of png stuff i have a lot of websites i go i get png stuff so i got most of this stuff as png files just online and i'm going to link them all in the description so you can download them and that looks very cool and very nice so if you have any christmas wish you can just place it around here i have few stuff to place then i'm done with this christmas design so in general it's just a matter of placing stuff at the right place to come up with something now this design is just done live i never planned out this design i'm doing it just right now so it's a matter of placing stuff in the right place okay so i think i've gotten everything here i'm going to bring this sparkles stuff into photoshop as well and i'm placing it at the top okay so i'm going to enlarge this i got this one from free pick that has this kind of snow effect press ctrl right square bracket and bring it to the top and change its blending mode to screen so with the background selected change this to screen all right so screen does this illusion it hides every dark part and brings out every brighter part of the design so you can see what i have here all the brighter parts like the white are shown but the black parts are gone and i place that at the top of every other layer i have just right here and you may be wondering why i don't name my layer that's because i've mastered the use of all these layers so i don't have any problem naming it so for now i'm going to hide the layer where i have the snow effect i'm going to hide that because i don't want to work with it now i'm going to make few adjustments to make my design balance click on the christmas ball layer and click on the shadow as well so i'm selecting both the ball and the shadow and hit ctrl t and reduce it just like that and that looks cool press ctrl j to duplicate these two stuff and bring one of them to this angle like that and increase the christmas ball rotate it this way just like that and place it around here i think this looks perfect so you're going to click on the shadow and bring it down to this other side it looks perfect just right there i'm going to send this just behind the red uh, silk material there so bring this down to uh, where you have the silk material that looks cool so you see it's now behind the silk material around it and i like that it looks very perfect and very nice click on christmas and highlight mary also and then bring them down like this place it around here it looks very cool and nice i like the illusion around here and i'm going to bring in this christmas star effect again i'm bringing a lot of stuff into this design but i just want to arrive at a very cool design so i'm going to place this star just around here it looks cool around there i think i should place it just searching for a better position okay that looks cool just around there it looks very cool and nice and let's see how this star looks like duplicate the layer and bring one of them around here let's see how it looks like on this 
angle perfect i think it looks very perfect on that angle as well so i'm going to reduce this again so it won't look too much around the design okay i think i have a very cool stuff just right here so let me make this gradient feel on christmas click on christmas and hit on layer style add gradient overlay and on this gradient overlay i'm going to change this color so hit on this other slider I'll give it red okay and hit on this other slider and give it what black okay so with that i'm going to hit on okay so you make sure your style is set to radial just like that and the red stuff at the center just like this and it looks very cool so you see it looks more realistic than before so i'm going to add a little shadow to mary christmas here hit on mary and christmas just both layers press ctrl g to group them so you have both of them in a group and hit on layer style click on drop shadow so i have this shadow that comes out like that it looks very bad the shadow is very very bad change that to black and hit on okay then you can reduce the opacity like that reduce the distance and the spread and the size so it's actually available but very very uh invisible okay i like it that way it's looking so so invisible but it looks perfect so with this idea of just bringing and dropping things i've been able to come up with this cool looking christmas design thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video